week at COP, we say wow to what our wonderful God did at our first Wow God or Worship Our Wonderful God in over two years. Wow God, God of Miracles was held at South Campus on Wednesday night, and it was remarkable. South members went out of their way to invite friends and loved ones. The worship was outstanding. The place was filled at 70% capacity being observed. And at the end of the evening, 305 people accepted Jesus as their Savior. We praise God for such a great start. Our next Wow God will be April 20 at Main Campus. This week at COP, guess who's back face to face this weekend? None other than our preteens, 10 to 12 years old. Preteens, we're excited to see you back enjoying your very own Shine Preteen service. Contact your preteen's pastor for more details. This week at COP, souls continue to be one for the Lord. Our North Campus young people were street preaching and saw seven saved. Two have already been water baptized. Our mighty men in uniform reached out to police stations and security guards and saw 68 people saved. Our young Kool-Aid's ministry did some street preaching and saw nine saved. District 7 held an online and praised God for 41 saved. Our trio has been working with South and Santa Rosa campuses and in their first week together saw 144 saved. District 3 is still getting ready for their exciting outdoor outreach and did another saturation on Saturday seeing 118 souls saved. This week at COP, we rejoice with our brothers and sisters receiving their harvest from the Lord. North's Vargas family praises God as they dedicated their new office. Bulacan's Daza family dedicated their house, business and motorcycle. Higher Dimension Choir's JC dedicated his L300. Pampanga's Perla Kiambao praises God for her second house in La and Laguna fully paid cash. The house already has tenants and is a second income for the family. Pampanga's brother Lexter dedicated his new family car. District 11's brother Kumar dedicated his car to the Lord. East Asher's Floridel and Len Alejandro dedicated their lot Praising God, they were able to acquire this lot adjacent to their house. Cathedral Choir's John D. and Lloyd's U. dedicated their Toyota Innova. Cathedral Choir's J.P. Manansala dedicated his Honda Mobilio. The Sarmiento family dedicated their Ford Territory. Davao's Nancy Tan received a promotion and a new car that she dedicated to the Lord. Davao's Aris Pinol praises God for his business is growing and he dedicated two new cars. Davao's Agudo family praises God for two additional lots and rest house in Samal Island. Davao's Contiga family dedicated their new car. Lipa's Pepe family dedicated their house and their baby and relatives were saved and Brother Harold was water baptized. What a day! Nika and Paul Pantai dedicated their new home in Batangas. Coming up at COP, April 8 is our first overnight since the pandemic started. Plan ahead to be in your own campus for this incredible night of prayer and worship and more prayer and more worship, April 8 to April 9. Coming up at COP, April 13 is Revival Night North Campus. This will kick off our Holy Week celebrations. April 14 is CAD's Praise Drills. April 15 is our School of the Cross All Day Friday, finally live after two years online. School of the Cross is in all campuses and branches of COP. April 16, Saturday, is our Youth and Teens Refill event at South Campus. Event time is 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. Transportation and food is provided for you by our Youth Department at COP. Please contact Pastor Isaac for more details. Finally, April 16 to 17 is Welcome to the Family Weekend, designed as a kind of musical First Truths teaching time. This is the weekend you want to bring all of your new believer friends and bring some who still need the Lord as well. It has been another great week at COP. Welcome to the family.